Hi Capricorn, welcome to your mid-month reading and this is going to be exceptionally a mid-month reading focused on the theme of love and romance but as usual um, always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For uh, the month of February, as usual, I have a special sales offer available. And for this month, it's uh, love themed as well. And if you would like to know more details about it, you can read in the description box below or um, you can email me with your questions and if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do that by following the PayPal link which is also down below. So Capricorns, I feel like some of you Capricorns in terms of love are really waiting here for a change, a big change. It's almost like some of you are picking on this energy, like something big is about to happen. A shift is about to come in into your life that would bring this type of love revolution and would change around... Um, it's like it would change around situations to your favor. It's like, I feel like some of you Capricorns don't feel like your love life has been really moving in a very positive direction because of something that has been a constant annoyance here, an obstacle and a limitation. For some of you, it could be because there's a physical distance here between you and your person of interest. For others, it's like a feeling of always needing to, you know, Put more time or more focus in work, in finances, in health, so in family. So it's like the free energy of love, the raw energy of love, the energy of love that allows you to really feel invigorated and um, happy and free at the same time has not been something as present. It's like the, the, the vibration of freedom, feeling free to love. Uh, the way you want, feeling free to love the person you want. There's is even here some Capricorns that don't feel like you have been allowed to be with the person uh, you truly wanted to be. Maybe there was, you know, family pressure or there was here something karmic that standing it in a way of you really, you know, investing here in a person um you wanted to be with it could also be that you're dealing with a partner in which this happened like they allowed other things to take them out of your out of your life i feel like for some of you capricorns you have had your your share of disappointments or of just see unfortunate again i keep getting unfortunate situations so it's almost like this feeling of almost like you know life getting in the way or tragic circumstances getting in the way the fool is here and i like the fool um when we're reading for love in one way as it is um an energy that comes totally available is the moment in our journey where we have really dropped our baggage and we are truly and freely um, available to love, to connect, to meet new people, to experience new energy, to renew ourselves, to take a leap, to have the courage, to uh, try different things, to move in a different right direction. So not only in terms of love, the fool is here in your soul position, activating this desire for new beginnings, this desire for something different, to even experiment and try as well here, different ways to uh, explore your desires, to explore your dreams. So yes, the fool can also be very um, reckless, immature, put themselves um, in danger because it's an energy that enjoys taking, taking risks and doesn't really think about the consequences and it can be also very uh, detached. So it's not you know an energy that um, in itself is very about very much about you know uh, structures and commitments and you know things to define but the thing is that this is in your soul position you're actually cutting strings of previous attachments with things that have um, controlled you too much for too long so it's like the feeling here is that in mid-february it's all right to be in more of this 
a little bit of wild, crazy energy and predictable motion because deep down is what you want. You want to break free from something where, you know, your freedom was put in question. I feel like for some of you, if there has been situations where either you or your person of interest have really been trapped into something, mid-February can bring, in. it's like divine timing mid-February brings the change. It brings the freedom, the liberation, um, you know, it's like, uh, so if some of you have been in a situation where your love life or your beloved and you so many things have standed here in the way it's like cycles and cycles and cycles of the same and now the cycle is changing finally you're entering into a new phase with this wheel of fortune and i keep going like for some of you it's really about family here Family has been uh, a huge problem, or if not family, uh, age gaps. For some of you, it's also age gaps. Either you have needed to wait for a person to mature, or you have had to go through something spiritually when you had to mature. Um, in order to really understand what your love nature and your love uh, needs are because I feel like for some of you Capricorns you at times it's like seven of cups you yourself get confused with what you want out of love do I want a commitment do I want a family do I want a marriage or do I want to something more free, more out of the box, more, um, you know, edgy, more unconventional? And and I feel like the Seven of Cups is here still bringing some questions to you because it's in the unconscious. It's like, are you after pipe dreams? Are you after ideals that can never, you know, be found in the form of a human being because human beings are flawed? Um, are you after what? What, what are you truly after? when you're thinking about love because with the fool in the seven of cups you have dreams you have you know this version of ideal partner or ideal love you have this fantasies that speak to you very loudly especially in mid-february but do they meet each other or or are those ideals and fantasies just scatter bits of your own lack of awareness, right? I feel like some of you Capricorns might need to focus a little bit, concentrate a little bit at times in what you're pursuing, in what you want. Because like the universe is here, it's about time. It's almost time. It's about to happen. It's about to shift. It's about to come. But how can the universe bring you something that would make you happy and it would make sense when you are in this ups and downs constantly about what you want or you don't define yourself what you want so it can be as wild and as outside of the box and you know as um considered to be out of limits out of reach as you can but you have to focus there you have to envision that and you have to trust that and you have to commit with those visions in order for, for it to come because it's 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 about time so it's about time for something to change and shift dramatically in, in terms of love for capricorns that are in relationships committed relationships and things have not been well you might want to break free from this relationship you might be about to take a leap out of uh something where you don't feel uh, fulfillment happiness or free freedom anymore it could also be that for Capricorns that are in a relationship and are happy you're just wanting for things in a relationship to be a little bit different so you and your partner could be investing you know in a whole new trajectory of life as a couple like it could be about to do something very different that you have never done again in a part as, a, as partners. You could be, you know, changing your lifestyle radically or, or your 
or where you're living or you you might be about to join forces to create a business you know something that would add fortune and luck to your life in terms of a couple but it would be completely different from what you have been doing together so far and for capricorns that are single no i'm sorry for capricorns that are seeing someone um and i'm wondering about a person of interest this person uh, might not be again as ready to give you something solid as ready to give you something more defined more constant due to all the factors that i've just uh spoken and because in reality um even if you feel like this is what you want, you want this partner, you know, committed, you want to marry this person, you want to live with this person, you want a family with this person. Um, again, as I said, if you concentrate more in your inner self, you might get to the conclusion that you yourself, you're not ready for that. So they're projecting something that still needs some work inside of you before you're ready to give that, um, to give that step because your energy is not at all about structures here it's about change and while we're in the middle of the vortex of change things are really exciting but also unpredictable and at times you know we can feel like we're in a roller coaster so it's not you know the more, more most inviting energies for commitment so if you're wondering about someone this person might continue to be you know in and out of your life hot and cold or just be more detached than what you what you would like but still at the end of it I feel like some of you Capricorns will realize uh, if you're truly interested in this person if you get to discover that this is a real interest a genuine interest this person also is coming to your life to teach you something about your own need your own needs to break free from convention to break free from um, conceived ideas of what love and relationship is and if you are dealing with someone that is demanding too much of you you will choose yourself you will choose your freedom at least here in mid-February so I hope you have a great uh, mid-month I hope you find all the love that you deserve and hopefully we'll see each other soon